Hi guys, welcome back to Super Math for You. This is Mr. Rego, and today we're working on the Algebra One EOC review. We're constructing equations from graphs, right? We're going to do it in slope integer form. We have our first graph here, and look at the question. Construct an equation from the given graph. So there are going to be a, a different ways how they ask you the same question. Construct an equation from the given graph. Okay, so we have a, a graph right now of a linear equation. The idea is to write write the equation. By default, they're not asking you a specific name for the way or, or, or the uh, yeah, for the name of the equation. So by default, you go into slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. All right? By default, you do this. Now, when you're writing an equation, there's two things that you need. The first thing is the slope, and the second thing is the y-intercept. Okay, those are the two things that you need to write out of this equation. Everything else stays the same. Y stays, X stays. M is going to be a number for the slope. B is going to be a number for the Y intercept. Okay, physically, what is the slope? So my slope is M, which is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, right? That's one way of finding the slope. Another way is to do it rise over run, okay? So that's to find the slope. That's the first thing that I do. Let's get the slope first. To find the slope, I'm going to use two points. You need two points that are in corners. You see, this is in the corner. This is in the corner. What I mean by the corner is this horizontal lines intersect the vertical line. So this is a corner, a corner, not in the middle of a square. You don't want to take this point. Or even in the axis, this is another point. Look at the axis right there, such in the six. You can use any of those points and they will give you the same slope, okay? So, rise over run, you can use two points and you can label them x1, y1, x2, y2, or you can make a triangle. Let's say that I'm gonna make a triangle from here to here. So, rise means go up or down. So, in this case, I'm gonna go up, okay? And then from there, I'm gonna go to the right. All right, so rise, you go up and down. That's vertical movement. The run is the horizontal movement. Now, when you choose two points, you start a point on the left side, right? You always start on the point on the left side, and you go towards the right side. So now I'm going to go up. How many steps I did? One, two, three. I went up three because I'm going up, then it's positive three. Now, from here, I go to the right, and I went from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Because I'm going to the right, they're positive. If you're going down is negative, you're going up is positive. Here, horizontal, to the right is positive, to the left is negative. All right? So now it's easy to me for me to find the slope. My slope is rise, which is vertical movement. And the vertical was positive 3. Over, run, and the run is horizontal movement. In this case, it's 6. Once you have that, you simplify. Right? I simplify by 3. Divided by 3 is going to be 1. Divided by 3 gives me 2. So my slope is equal to 1 half. And now I have the first thing, my slope. Second thing I need to find is my y-intercept. From my graph, what is the y-intercept? Y-intercept is where your line touches the y-axis. This is the horizontal is the x-axis. The vertical is the y-axis. Y-intercept is where your line touches the y-axis, which is this is your y-intercept, okay? Right there where they intersect. In this case, if this is negative 2, this is negative 3. So my y-intercept is equal to negative 3, and you can get it from the graph, okay? Now I have my slope, I have my y-intercept. I'm going to write my equation. y equals m is 1 half of x plus b. But my y-intercept is negative, so instead of putting a positive, I'm going to put a minus 3. And that's going to be my equation. Keep that in mind. One thing that it, we need to think about is that the slope. You notice that my slope is positive? Okay. From when my line is going from this L is left. And this R is right. From when my line is going up. When it's going up from left to right, my, my slope is going to be positive. All right? Keep that in mind. If my line is going down, it's going to be negative. Okay? All right. We're done with this problem. I'm trying to give you as much information as I can. 
Let's do another one. Oh, don't forget, we're doing with special cases. Make sure to stay at till the end for this video. I'm going to show you a couple of special cases that are really, really, really tricky. All right, let's go for the next problem. If you notice, I have a line going down from left to right. So my slope is going to be negative at this point. Now, what's the question? Write the function represented by the graph. Write the function. You see a different name for the equation. Does not matter. You're asking the same thing. They're not saying in a specific way how to do it. Remember, we have slope into the form. We have point slope. We have standard form. We have many ways how to write the equation. If they don't say specifically, you assume is the slope into the form. From here, now we know that I need the slope and the y-intercept. My slope, I can find it using the rise of a run because I have the graph. If I don't have the graph, then you got to find two points. Right, you got to find two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, right? But because I have the graph, I can use rise of a run. I want to choose two points that are touching the corners. Look, touching the corner, touching the corner, right? This one is touching the corner. Any two points will give me my slope, all right? In this case, let's choose, let's choose these two points. All right, so I'm gonna make my triangle. I always start from the on the, the point that is more to the left, which is this one. So in this case, I'm gonna go down and then to the right. Because I'm going down, that's gonna be negative. How many steps? One and two. And then to the right is positive, okay? So let's replace here. The right, I'm going down, which is negative two. And the run, I'm going to the right, which is one. Negative two over one gives me negative two. Okay, to show you that I get the same slope regardless of what points I use, making sure that it's in the corner, I'm going to use, uh, let's say, uh, this point and this point. And I'm going to make my triangle. Again, I'm going to go down, okay, and then I'm going to go to the right. I'm going down from here, one, two, three, four steps. Because I'm going down, it's going to be negative. And then to the right, one and two steps. So the rise, let's do it again, is going to be uh, negative 4, and the run is going to be 2. If you simplify this, you get negative 2. So I'm showing you that it doesn't matter which points you use, you get the same slope, okay? Let's do the y-intercept. Your y-intercept will always be the point that is the, the point where the lines intersect. Your line, this is your line, and this is the y-axis. So this is your y intercept which is represented by the letter b okay so from zero one two and three in this case is going to be three so my y intercept is three all right let's write the equation y equals mx plus b y equals m is my slope which is negative two x plus b in this case three is above the x-axis all right over here is positive so plus three and i am done Okay, all right, uh, guys, check always the description for links to very important EOC review videos and more tools, the website, a lot of tools right there on my website. All right, let's go. So now, these are the special cases. When we have a horizontal, I'm sorry, a horizontal or a vertical line, all right? So most people will try and they confuse trying all right, so y equals mx plus b because they're not saying anything right and they're asking me as a function. But in this, these are special cases. This is not going to work out. All right, and let's just recap. The slope of a vertical line is undefined slope. Okay, so this is going to be my undefined slope just in case they ask you. This is for the vertical line. For a horizontal line, the slope is equal to zero. Keep that in mind. Now, the special cases are the following. Because this is a vertical line, the equation of this line will be whatever am I touching, what axis am I touching here. The line is going through the x-axis, so the equation is x equals whatever number is intersecting. And that you're done. Okay? If the line goes through, I don't know, let's, this is negative 3. If the line goes through negative 3, then your question will be x equals negative 3. 
I'm touching the x-axis, therefore my equation is x equals the number. If the, if the line goes through x equals 2, so your line is x equals 2. Now for a horizontal line, it goes the other way. Is a horizontal line, what axis am I touching? I'm touching the y-axis. Therefore, your equation is y equals whatever number you're going through. Okay? If I have a line going through y negative 2 right here, then your equation is y, because it's crossing the y-axis, equals to negative 2. All right? So always horizontal line, y equals. Vertical line, x equals. And those are the special cases. And people, a lot of people get confused on those. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Next one is going to be graphing lines. So instead of writing the equation, we're going to graph those lines. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.